All right, here is driver's ed lesson number 14. This has to do, the title is At Railroad or Train Crossings. First, this is a very important one because it really is the difference between life or death. If you look at the picture to your right here, you see a car that stopped right at the line when the crossing, um, um, when the crossing gate is closed. Uh, right here, it's perfect. They're safe. No one's going to get hurt. However, if you go around the uh, gate, this is where you could probably get hurt or even die. And you can see the train coming. That's why you never even – you don't go around the gate. You don't go under the gate. And you don't park on the tracks or stop on the tracks because that could get you hurt. Uh, that's just looking at the picture. We're going to start with a bit of the discussion, which here it talks about where you have to look in both directions and listen for the trains. If you look, I've already darkened the answers for your note page. So uh, directions would be as an example of the darker word you may want to fill in. Uh, many crossings have multiple tracks, so be ready to stop before the crossing if necessary. Um, you don't want to stop on the tracks. Again, I'm just going to keep saying that. Uh, cross railroad tracks only at designated crossings and only when it's safe to do so. So don't cross them like in the middle of the desert. You don't want to do that. That could get you in trouble. And now moving on here to the next note, it says expect the train on any track at any time traveling in any direction. And that's true, especially in the AV, if you really think about it, uh, it can happen. I mean, it, it's, it's not unheard of uh, to have this kind of um, have this happen in your neighborhood even. Uh, to see a train come in whenever you're – I've ridden my bikes in that area, and the trains can come when you least expect them. If you need to stop after the crossing, the, after crossing the tracks, wait until you can completely cross the tracks before you proceed. Make sure your vehicle clears the track before you stop. So don't – again, don't stop on the track. Make sure you can clear it. Uh, you have to really kind of use your estimating skills. If you see that a car is going to stop before the light and get you on the track, you need to get behind, way behind that car so you can stop before the tracks. Never, never stop on the tracks. That's what this is right here. Never. Uh, if you're on the tracks, you risk injury or death. Watch for vehicles that must stop before the train tracks because that could really mess you up. There's cars that have to stop, like like school buses, what we talked about before. School buses have to stop and look, open their door and look to make sure they're clear. If you're behind, if, if you see them stopping, they're going to stop suddenly and unexpectedly. And so you don't want to hit them in the rear. Uh, these vehicles include buses, school buses, and trucks transporting hazardous loads. So those are the kind of vehicles you may see that have to stop before the tracks by law. They have to, and for safety. Remember that red flashing light, red, <laughs> red flashing traffic signal means to stop. So when you see the lights flashing, ding, 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 and you see the gate closing, stop. If you don't get it, it's stop. Just red lights flashing, stop. Stop at least 15 feet, but no more than 50 from the nearest track when the crossing devices are active or a person warns you a train is coming. So if a person is there, maybe a person that works for the train company uh, they may be saying hey, okay you got to stop so you got to get as far back from it as 15 15 feet is reasonable don't get up close to the train uh, you never know you know that could get you hurt too uh, stop if you see a train coming or you hear the whistle horn a bell the approaching train so that's a good indication keep your eyes open be scanning uh, keep your ears open you know especially when you're near a track maybe the music shouldn't be too loud so you can hear ding, 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 and you know that it's time to stop. And the last part is do not go uh, under lowering gates or around them. And I showed you an example of that in the graphic. Flashing red warning lights indicate you must stop and wait. Do not proceed over the railroad tracks until the red lights stop flashing. So who cares if you're in a hurry? Don't rush. Once it's done and it opens, then you can go safely. All right, hopefully that helps you and have a good one doing the assignment.